you want to make a fun little game on Scratch or even learn some really basic Python, those are the really fundamental skills that will let you do amazing things further on the line. There's code I've written when I was, you know, 16, 17 on GitHub that I still refer back to today because I had someone looking over my shoulder and say, that's a nice way to do it, or here's a better way to do it. Having people around you that can give you a little bit of guidance definitely does help. But more importantly, be independent and make mistakes is the best example I can give. Because from your mistakes, if you manage to fix them, you've learned something. It's something you can take away and then apply to future projects. Yeah, for, for me as a software engineer, I probably only spend about 20% of my day actually writing code. The rest is all coordinating with people, communicating, talking to my team lead, talking to the testers, talking with product, figuring out, okay, what are the next problems coming down the pipeline? How is that ticket that I wrote last week? Is it in production yet? How is it getting on? Has it broken? Is it working? <laughs> you're not tied to a single career within IT either. I think that's the important thing. You're not tied to a job. Um, I've been through so many jobs. I've done pulling cables onto the floor. I've written database applications. I've um, moved servers from room to room. I have been a consultant. I've done the kind of gambit. And the thing is, even at my age, I can still, this job is new to me. Wow. The current role I'm doing is new to me. I've only been doing it 18 months. So this is a new job to me and the industry facilitates it. Mm -hmm.